Hey guys, um, definitely not the video you're probably expecting. I was going to film the Kat Von D St. Ensigner palette review today. I've been promising this review for what feels like 16 years. I sat down to film earlier and in the middle of filming, I got super sick to my stomach and threw up. It was so random and out of nowhere and I felt fine before that and it was just like, boom. And then I sat down multiple times after that to try to film and it was just not happening. I'm gonna start with the saint side and then work on the center side and let's go. I feel like shit. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. I said it felt like I was gonna puke and I did. I could not keep anything down and I still have not eaten anything today. It's coming up on 3 p.m. Instead of forcing myself to sit down and film that video, probably Monday if I'm being realistic with myself. Uh, sorry to put that off. I know the, the palette's like old at this point, but it's gonna be a long video to film and I literally threw up three times during filming. I don't know what happened, but my niece actually has, she's got some sort of virus or like the norovirus or something and was throwing up all last week and then my sister got it and now I've got it. So instead, I thought I would just kind of chat with you guys. We'll talk about Christmas, talk about a little Christmas decor. I'm still not feeling great, but sitting upstairs in front of those lights is making it like a thousand times worse. And just so just being down here in my living room is the place to be. So as you guys can see, I decorated for Christmas. I'm so excited that it's almost Christmas. So I thought I would walk around and show you guys my living room and show you some Christmas decor. And I can tell you where I got things and show you how I saved some money. So I love decorating for Christmas, but I hate how expensive everything is. But this year I got everything for a really decent price. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So for walking in from my side hallway, this is what it looks like. My floors are squeaky, so ignore that. I got this candle. It's like a little stone marbly looking candle that smells really good. It's leather and something and it smells really really good it's a very light scent i'm very sensitive to smells so this is what it looks like here and it's just so cozy and nice i got these lights they actually plug in down here and then they string all the way up along this brick that we have here and the way that i keep these up is with little mini clear command strips that is perfect because these led lights on the tiny wire they're very light Tape does not hold them up very well. I tried tape and they just kept falling all over the place. So I just got those little clear command strips and it's been good to go that way. What's nice about these is when they're off, you can't really see the string because as you guys can tell, they're on this very, very thin silver wire. And so when you step back from them, you really can't see it. It just kind of looks like suspended lights. My Christmas tree. And this is like my Pride and Joy Christmas tree. This is a pre-lit Martha Stewart one. And if you get up close to it, you can see how cute the tree itself is. It has like little tiny bits of flocking on the end of the actual branches. And I kept my bulbs really simple this year and the decorations on my tree really simple. Um, the tree also has glitter in it. I don't know if you guys can tell, let me see. Oh, it's so beautiful. It shines so beautifully. There's a boogie, there's a baby, oh, it's a Christmas tree, baby. Oh, yeah, it's a Christmas boy. Oh. This was not cheap. I wish it was, and I wish I could give you guys a suggestion of something cheap. I got this from Home Depot, actually. It was like $250, but for me, I love it because it's pre-lit, although some of the pre-lit part already did die here at the top, so I had to string some lights. It's so beautiful, and the tree itself like looks really full and fluffy and pretty because of the flocking that's in it. I got these little guys to hang on the tree. These came from Walmart, actually. These are $1.99 for a pack of 20 of them. <gasps> he been a bad boy. <laughs> What are you doing? Get out of there! Hey! Hey! I'll show you what he's doing. He's being a bad boy is what he's doing. So I made these Christmas bulbs a couple of years ago. They look like ice. What you do is you put glue stick and glue all over the outside of a clear bulb and then you roll it in Epsom salt and then it makes it look like the bulb is like frosty. Yeah, Matt I thinks it's a salt lick. And I don't think Epsom salt is okay to eat, buddy. So I'm constantly on his butt all day long telling him to quit licking the tree. I got these. These are the bulbs. They're like this green with a gold on the outside. I'm not sure. Look at him. He's gonna lick the ball. Maddie. No, no. I got these little green and gold bulbs. I'm not sure where I got them. I actually think I got them at Walmart a few years ago. And then I've got some gold and then some of this color, which is like a mixture of silver and gold. 
And then the tree has pine cones in it. And so when you back up, that's what it looks like. And it is such a pretty tree. Like I have it in the corner, obviously. And I actually got this little topper from Hobby Lobby. It was only like seven bucks because it's 50% off right now. Tree skirts, I'm not a big fan of. So I just kind of stick this fluffy white blanket down there. It kind of looks like snow. These lights that you see surrounding that thing and this window, these are actually like a 35 foot long string of lights from Amazon. I will link them down below if you guys want to pick them up. They're LED and they're on that thin string as well. And it was enough to wrap around this table, wrap all the way around this window, and then some. They just kind of plug in and they're so bright and beautiful. And then these ones I put around the table. And these ones are the little battery operated ones. And pro tip, right now Walmart is selling a 24 pack of AA batteries. They're Kodak brand, but they work great for $2. Worth it. I have some in my tree over here as well. And then I put some garland up right here with some of those snowflakes hanging from it with some of the white lights in it as well. And these are the battery operated pack also, which I will link below. I'll link all the stuff if I can find it below. This is the kind of garland I got. It's like that floofy kind. And then you can see that the snowflakes are hanging from it. But I really like this garland and actually I got this from Walmart for five bucks a strand. So this is two strands of it on my archway. That's what it kind of looks like here going into my living room. Yeah, that's what it looks like there. And these were $5 a strand at Walmart, whereas Hobby Lobby had these for $100 per strand, 50% off, but still 50 bucks versus five. And they don't look that different. Theirs had like Christmas balls and stuff in it, but like you could add your own Christmas balls to this for like five more dollars. So yay. So this is what my living room looks like. And honestly, there's lights everywhere and I'm super, super into it. It's very cozy and this is the one room of my house that I absolutely love. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now is I just, you know, cleaned up my house a little bit. I just can't sit in front of those lights. I don't know what it is, but three times today I tried filming and threw up and I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm quite in the mood for it. I don't think my body is happy about it. I don't know what's going on, but I definitely have some sort of stomach bug. I can't keep anything down. I'm just feeling crummy. If you guys are wondering, I got this sweater. It's got this little thing here. These from Fashion Nova, shocking, I know. I have another haul coming from Fashion Nova and I'm super excited because I got some really cute stuff. I definitely have some pros and cons to that place. So if you guys want me to make a full video about it, I can show you like everything I've ever bought from them and like a pros and cons of things that I do and don't like about Fashion Nova. They actually reached out to me and were like, hey, we'd like to work with you. And I was like, I'm like on the fence about it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Even though they would give me free clothes, like, I don't know, I don't know. I have, I have mixed feelings about Fashion Nova. Like I love them so much and I love everything I've ever gotten from them. There've only been a few things that I don't love and that's like some pants that just don't fit me, but they're cute regardless. They just aren't the right size, but their return and exchange policy and their customer service is pretty crummy. So if you guys would like to hear some stuff about that, I'd be more than happy to film it for you. Um, maybe I'll do it when I get my haul in and I could do like a little lookbook and try on. Hang on. That was my alarm to go pick Avery up from school. There is no cuter cat in this entire world. You're not even a cat, you're a boy. You are a man and a boy and a cute, look at this mouth, look at him. Oh my, look at those little teeth. Maddie, you are the cutest boy that ever was. Oh, and will ever be. Have you ever seen a cuter boy? <laughs> look at your little legs. And your little feet and your cutie little boots. But yeah, I'll definitely make that Fashion Nova video for you guys if you want it. Um, people keep thinking that I'm like being paid by them. I have bought everything from Fashion Nova. And again, they reached out to me and they were like, we want to give you free stuff. You just have to promote our stuff. And I'm like, mmm. I am so cautious on what I do. It was it was after doing a video and I can't remember what I did, but I like promoted a product and then afterwards everyone sent me screenshots that they bought it and I realized in that moment like holy shit like I mean I, I wholeheartedly stand behind the product so that was that's a great thing but sometimes you forget that like you recommend something and then people listen to that and they buy it and that's a responsibility that I, that we have as influencers to realize that that we have to be careful with what we promote because that is something that you guys will go out and spend your hard earned money on. And for me, that's a big responsibility. So I'm very cautious on what I tell you guys. Like I, I kind of backpedal a lot. And so just so you know, when it comes to sponsorships and brands and stuff like that too, I feel like I'm kind of hard on brands. I'm like, okay, you need to send it. You need to give me adequate time. You need to do this. And this is what I'm gonna do. And if I don't like this, I'm gonna be honest. And I feel like I'm a little like too, too pressing on them sometimes, but I, I I always want them to know like, be 
honest, no matter what. They're always really good with that, usually. I mean, some brands are weird, like, and they just want you to be like, saying that their stuff is good regardless, but those are the brands we don't work with, now do we? Okay, well, I'm gonna go pick Avery up and um, I'll be back. He thinks he, he didn't know they went to the airport. Yeah, he doesn't know. Because I, <laughs> I think you're so cute. <laughs> I made my family disappear. Yeah. <laughs> he likes that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I'm going to go now. I really don't have much else to say, but um, Avery just left and this guy just got home. And, uh, we're gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna try to keep food down. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm try not to uh, puke. Puke again <laughs> for the third time. We're uh, having a little, having a little cheat meal, a little pizza. Okay. No, we're not. Absolutely not. We're absolutely. Pop Murphy's. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, we just we just watched Home Alone, and on there they were eating like I don't know, I'm sure you guys have seen Home Alone, but they order like 12 pizzas in the beginning of it, and I was watching them all eat pizza, and I was like, that sounds like something I won't throw up. So we're gonna give it a go, and I shouldn't be eating that, but alas, I am. <laughs> okay, well, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming on Monday. All right, I love you so much. Bye.